Okay, welcome back. We are tackling Oscar Peterson's blues for Martha. Quarter note equals 170 beats per minute. Definitely something that you wanna get under your fingers. I'm gonna post a link to the sheet music in a little bit. This is the third in our tutorial series. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the solo section and some of the Oscar Peterson licks that you can apply, not just to blues for Martha, but any blues or any jazz standard for that matter. So what I'm gonna do first is play the solo section for you a little bit, and then we're gonna talk about it. I'll also post a link to the sheet music, like I said, in a little bit. All right, let me play this solo section for you, and then we'll come back, dive in, and start learning some of the licks. Okay, there's a bit of the solo section. I'm not gonna do the entire thing. I did definitely transcribe it and it is part of the sheet music, but it would take way too long to go through it all. But in the first chorus of the solo section, there's definitely some interesting things going on. So the first thing is when we come out of this head section, we've got two shots here where it's one and, and it's on the end of two, so. And then he's coming in on beat two here with a couple of grace notes. It's a nice sound actually. And the bass is actually just playing, plunking down B flat notes, like a B flat pedal here. And so you've got this transition section into the solo where this pedal's going on and then eventually when he gets to the E flat, he starts walking the bass. Uh, so we don't really have a lot of left hand going on here, just right hand. I think that's important just by itself. You've got the sharp nine of the B flat seven chord, which is the D flat. So this is a sharp nine. And then that seventh, nice sound. And in the left hand, you've got just a B flat seven chord, D natural, so. So from the top. Right, so that one, we've got triplets going on here, which is just basically a B flat blues scale. So, so blues scale. It's the fingering that I find tricky here. So here's the fingering I figured out. So one, three, four, five, four. And then three, one. And then switch to your third finger here and then one and two. 
it's really the timing of that that matters a lot. It's, you know, trying to start on this triplet here, which is the middle note of that triplet. It's not an easy thing to do, so. It's just, I don't know, it swings a lot. Let me write that properly. Swing, really important, even though you're just playing eighth notes, so. Okay, make sure you catch that D flat here. It's, it's implied from the first accidental at the beginning of the bar, so let's go from here. Nice. It's got these two notes up against each other. If you want to just play the G, that's fine. Could have even been an accident if he got both of those in there. So G to F to E flat. This is really E flat seven going on here, obviously. Let's move on to the next line. Hope you're learning something from this. Definitely good to analyze it so you really know what's happening here. It's really playing simply here. Really doesn't matter where you're playing this left hand comping. I played it on the end of two. But if you go. So it just fits in there. Make sure it's on the end of something. And then left hand, simple D7 chord, then a G7 in fourths. And then you've got an E flat triad here. This is what I find interesting about Oscar Peterson's playing is what you have is a diminished chord, like a G diminished, which is just G, B flat, C sharp. But it's really heading to this note here. So that's just a passing note. And this is the part that I love. And what I really wanted to point out in this video is just a pure Oscar Peterson lick. So you've got this is B flat and then E natural, then E flat. So simple, but yet it just swings so hard. And this is blues here, these blues licks that Oscar plays a lot. It's like, um, you know, grace notes. Could be on a D natural, but in this case it's D flat, so kind of like minor blues. And then he follows it up with this lovely, pure Oscar lick here. Definitely recommend that you practice that a lot. Play the F and the B flat together. And this is landing on an E flat uh, fifth here, just a perfect fifth. And then again, he's got another grace note at the bottom. Instead of going to D flat, he's going to D natural here. So, so that whole line from the beginning of the first line I'm gonna save that for another video because once he starts doing stuff like this and getting really fast with his playing, really hard to do, especially since it's ninth. And to keep that in time is really difficult to do. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is play you the entire piece with the introduction, the head, and the solo section. Uh, before I do that, let me put a link to the sheet music up here in the corner, Blues for Martha, full transcription. You really want to go and check that out. It's got like I don't know, nine pages or something like that. And it will keep you busy for a couple of years <laughs> learning all these really cool Oscar things. All right, I'm going to play the tune for you and then we'll come back and I'll say a couple of words.
Okay, there's blues for Oscar at quarter note equals 170, bass drums backing track. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a link to the backing track as well. So the uh, sheet music and the backing track link you can find below the video, and also the link that I posted earlier in this video will get you there as well. Because I think it's important to have that backing track, something that I did compose and, you know, drums, bass, the whole nine yards. Definitely worth getting that backing track to practice with. All right, let me post that below and I'll say goodbye. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I would love that. That would be great. Just go subscribe and hit the little bell when you do because you'll be notified of upcoming videos that we're making. Thanks so much for your time. I'll see you in another tutorial. Cheers. Thank you.